So here's another life hack for you guys. On this construction site, we will be breaking through almost every dividing wall adjacent to the exterior wall. We are doing this in order to get all the utilities through. This includes radiators, floor heaters, in some cases even plumbing. So there are going to be a lot of pipes, meaning that we will have to make big holes in the wall. The pipes are half an inch at least. We also have to account for the thermal insulation. Multiple pipes and generally make a big enough hole not to damage the pipes when we pull them through. And so professionals use these massive breaching bits along with a big ass drill hammer. And all of this is not cheap. But what should you do as a regular guide who doesn't have access to such equipment? And you can't buy it or rent it if you want to make just one hole. Maybe you live in an area where these tools are not easily accessible. So one option is to use a crown like this, about an inch and a half wide, great for bringing in all utilities into your house but it doesn't go very deep and each time you go in then you have to clean out all the rubble from it so it's not the best option so here's the life hack we take a regular drill hammer with sds plus spatula if need be we can cut down the spatula and all we gotta do now is put it in hammer and drill mode so we take our drill hammer with a safety clutch Otherwise, when we do this, you're going to spin and not the spatula. Make sure to also have eye protection. We plant our feet onto the ground, press our back against the wall, and we carefully drill into the wall. It won't go in instantly, so keep that in mind and be careful. See? Easy enough. So, let's see if it works on concrete. As you can see, it takes some time, but eventually you will get through. And let me remind you, this is not a wire drill hammer, and it's just a regular battery-powered drill hammer. It's not some sort of specialized big equipment. Again, this is not a life hack for professionals. It's just for people doing some housework and need to make, like, one hole. I should also mention that this would not work on hollow materials, because the spatula would jam up. For surfaces like this brick, you would need something with four sides.